Hi, I'm Nat Ragstar. Today we're looking at what's in my trauma kit for hiking and woodland adventures here in the UK. Let's get into it. To start off with, got a first aid patch on the front. That is glow in the dark, so if you've got that hanging outside your backpack, you'll be able to see it. In the back, I've got some trauma shears. This bit of tape serves no purpose. They're handy for cutting all sorts of stuff, but particularly clothing, they'll just cut through. They work, they're fantastic. Get yourselves some of them. I just slipped into the laser cut webbing on the back. I keep this strap a little bit loose, so the fidlock buckle, when you ping it, it flaps open and when you want to close it again it's just easily goes on. First and easiest to access Israeli bandage that can work as a tourniquet but it's also just a generally great emergency bandage worth looking into getting one of those. I've also got a survival whistle because if you're in trouble it is a great idea to see if there's any other help around even after you've dealt with a disaster you might want to get people's attention. Also in that section right at the bottom because less likely to need it immediately is a smaller bandage in case I don't want to be using that humongous one. It's got something smaller. A bandage this size is something I've used um, on a hike when someone cut their hand open on a metal gate. They didn't realize it had a sharp edge on it and blood was dripping everywhere. So it was really helpful to have a decent bandage on me. In the back section, I've also got a survival emergency blanket which is great for keeping your temperature up especially if you're stuck for any period of time or in the cold I've actually refolded this myself because I used it when I came across a guy with a broken arm so these are really helpful not just for yourself and keeping you warm but also they're really tough so you can wind them up and use them as a makeshift sling which I did at the time I like having this pocket at the back because it means I can keep that separate and the bandage comes out without affecting everything else in there in the front I've got two pairs of gloves just in case I feel the need to use those obviously really handy if you're working with someone else I wouldn't probably bother with myself I've also got a resus aid I've never had to use this thankfully it just gives an extra level of protection for you I finally I've got a blood clotting agent this one is actually out of date probably should update it but I'm gonna leave it in there because I'd rather something than nothing everything fits nicely inside this SPX pouch by Prometheus Simworks it's slim and it's got loads of attachment options I've actually used these side loops to attach them to the wolf pack so this is the kit I'm confident using, but I'm no medical professional, so don't just copy what I've got, do your research, find what works for you, and go with that. Let me know what's in your ideal trauma kit in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.